Hello learners, welcome back to my channel Stradhas Physics. In this part we will see IC741 operational amplifier. So first of all we will see what is this 741 stands for. 7 means the number of functional pins in the IC741 operational amplifier and this 4 means the number of input pins here and 1 stands for the number of output pins. So this is basically 741 functional pin input pin and the output pins okay so this ic741 it can perform both mathematical operation like addition subtraction multiplication division differentiation integration etc and also this can perform amplification for function first of all we will see the characteristic of the ic741 operational amplifier and that after we will see the working of this operational amplifier so what are the characteristic that is here in case of this operational amplifier that is generally you know this is your operational amplifier block diagram the negative terminal is also known as the inverting terminal and the positive terminal is known as the non-inverting terminal and here you can see this is your plus VCC and this is your minus VCC these are your power supply so here there are four inputs and also this one is your output so because of that here you can see this 4 means the number of inputs. So you need 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 inputs and 1 is the output. So this is your 1 output pin you need. So now let us see the characteristics of the operational amplifier. Here the input impedance is high that is more than 100 kilo ohm. Its output impedance is low that is less than 100 ohm. The frequency range between 0 hertz to 1 megahertz and the low offset voltage and current it has low offset voltage and current and here the high voltage gain of the order of million now let us see the block diagram of the ic741 now you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay there are 8 number of pins actually in the ic741 but here you can see this is not connected okay it is not connected means it is inactive in the circuit so why this is present it is just present to fill the void space in the package okay so actually this pin is not needed this is simply to fill the void space we have connected this one that is we have joined this pin that is number 8 pin now you can see this 2 3 this 4 and 7 you can see just a minute you can see here this number 2 pin number 3 pin and number 4 as well as number 7 so these are your 4 inputs and this one is your output so there are 8 total number of pin is 8 from that 1 is not connected so total number of pin is your 7 that is the functional pin we can say there are 7 functional pin out of 7 the 4 are the for the input and 1 is for the input terminal sorry 1 is for the output terminal this 4 is for the input one input pins and this one is the output pins and the rest of the two one is set to offset node and here also the 5 is set to offset node so what is this offset node we will now discuss this now you can simply just try to remember this figure this is your operational amplifier the negative sign implies the inverting input connected to number 2 pin and this is a positive side means the non-inverting input connected to number 3 pin this is number 2 pin this is 3 pin and here the 4 pin that is connected to the negative power supply that is V minus and here the plus pin that is the 7 pin it is connected to the power input that is V plus this one is V minus and this is your V plus now from this the output is connected to the 6 and this one 5 and 1 they represent the offset node. Now let us see the OPAM IC741 pin configuration. Since IC741 it comprises of 8 pins. So among these pins 2, 3 and 6 they are the most significant pins. For the pin 2 and 3 they represent inverting and non-inverting terminal respectively. You can see in this diagram this 2 3 this is your inverting and non-inverting 
and this 6 is the output. So this 2, 3 and 6, this is called the most significant pin. So from this figure, the 2 is connected to the inverting input and the 3 is connected to the non-inverting input. And here the pin 6 is connected to the output voltage and the pin 8 is inactive. So here the pin 8 is inactive in the circuit just to fill the void space in the packages. So the number 741 it indicates there are 7 active pins that is 4 pins that is 2, 3, 4, 7 these are capable of taking input and 1 pin that is pin 6 it is an output pin. Okay. So it was found that if the two input terminals of an operational amplifier they are shorted the output voltage is not zero. That is in the previous lecture we have already discussed that if suppose this is an operational amplifier if we will sort this two terminal that is inverting as well as non-inverting terminal if we will sort this two terminal that is the same signal voltage across the inverting as well as the non-inverting it means that when you supply the voltage for the inverting terminal like this you will get an inverting signal across the output that is you will get just like this this one is positive half negative half will get negative half then positive half. but in case of the positive terminal that is non-inverting terminal you will apply the same voltage so you will get the same voltage across the output okay that is since it is non-inverting terminal it will not invert the signal if you will add this two one that is in the output across the output you will see this one is positive one this one is negative one and here this negative sign and this positive half this two signal that is when they will get added you will finally get the output voltage to be zero okay that means if the operational amplifier is shorted you will get the output voltage to be zero we know in case of an ideal op amp this I output voltage should be zero but since we are using the practical op amp so that the output voltage is not zero when the inverting and non-inverting inputs are sorted okay so when the two in that is the inverting and the non-inverting input are sorted the output voltage is not zero so this deviation of the output voltage in the practical op amp from the ideal value zero is known as the offset voltage that is we know in case of the practical op amp you will not get this output voltage zero so the output voltage is not zero here but in the actual case that is in case of the ideal one you will always get the output voltage is equal to zero so there is a difference between the practical open and an ideal open so this deviation of the output voltage in the practical open it is known as the offset voltage okay so this is the offset voltage so this offset voltage it will introduce the slight errors in the operational amplifier circuit hence pin 1 and pin 5 the two terminals are connected to one external trim potentiometer to trim the offset voltage that is when you will get the slight difference between this output voltage so the pin present here that is 1 and this 5 that is the offset null represented as this is your 1 and pin 5 this is your offset null so they will trim that offset voltage by the help of trim potentiometer so this is the basic configuration that is IC741 operational amplifier pin configuration. So just try to remember this is 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is your 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay in this way you can remember. So there are 4 inputs. One is inverting, non-inverting. This is your power supply and this 6 stands for the output and this 8 this is not connected to any and the pin 1 and 5 they are connected for the offset null that is the extra that is the error you find across the output voltage that is just the deviation from the zero value that is called the offset voltage in the practical open that has been trimmed by this offset null. So this is all for today. Thank you all.